Own Tale, I'm a transformation coach and I specialize in helping women who feel stuck in a job that just doesn't light them up anymore. Through my coaching and one-on-one programs, I help women to clarify their goals and desires, conquer fears, and develop the strategies and mindset for aligning their life and work with the true essence of who they are. This is my story. Welcome to the Fair Business Australia podcast. Future-proof your business, impact your community. I'm your host, Rebecca Lloyd. Welcome, Fair Business Australians, to another episode of the Fair Business Australia podcast chat to Beck. It's wonderful to be with you again. Joining me today is a transformational coach. Ladies, are you experiencing failure to launch? Are you experiencing that fear that stops you from moving into that great idea that you've got and you hate your job, you want to leave, but you can't? I have the guest on my podcast today. Tale is a transformational consultant. She has walked the walk, doesn't just talk the talk. I'm going to get her to share today about her system, how it can help you. Tale, thank you so much for being a guest on the podcast today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for having me, Rebecca. It's great to be here. So for those of us who are listening who absolutely hate our job and are very eager to get into the meat and potatoes of this, what is a transformational coach? What pain points do you help your clients overcome and what results could we expect to get? And then we'll go into a little bit more details as to what all that is later. Yeah, wonderful. Well, as a transformation coach, what I help people do is reconnect with the essence of who they are. So every single person has something that they are designed to do here on this earth. And and so what I help people do is reconnect with that and remember what that is because the busyness of life that we get into often causes us to put, you know, those dreams, those desires, those solutions to problems, those ideas on the shelf and they kind of just sit there gathering dust. But I really believe and what I've seen to be true in my life and the life of my clients is that when you reconnect to that piece, everything starts to spark. You start to light up and it has this knock-on effect into the rest of your life, into your relationships, into your work, into the things that you, you desire and you want to experience and you want to share with the world. So I help people connect with that and I do that through one-on-one coaching and through group-based coaching as well, giving people really practical tools on how they can do that how they can navigate this process, how they can reconnect with that, with that dream, that desire, that solution. And then I give them pieces to walk that journey well. So you mentioned the fear. It's about what's actually happening in your mind. We never get taught this stuff. What's happening in your mind when that fear comes? I teach people what is happening there and then how you move beyond that and keep going. So it really helps people to become unstoppable, really. Wow. Yeah. You had me become unstoppable. So is is this is this therapy? Because I know I've sat on a Sykes couch for a while and I'm not really interested in doing that in my 40s. Is this therapy? What does this look like? Is this trauma revisitation? What is it? No, it's not therapy. Um, and I think the therapist's They are stunning, they're wonderful, they're needed. But the difference that this is how I define the difference between therapy and coaching. Therapy, you're revisiting the past and and doing healing those, those places. And that's important work. However, as a coach, what I do is we start where you are, right? We start where you are and we move forward. It's not about revisiting. There's stuff that needs to be done there. Cool. The therapist will help there. But as a coach, we're starting where you are, doesn't matter where that is, and we're moving forward and we're taking those actionable steps to keep going. And Mm. in that process, a lot of the stuff, a lot of stuff does get dealt with. Yeah, right. So so let's go into a little bit more about what is an actionable step? What does that look like? Is this just mind over matter or is this harden up princess? Like what does this look like? When, you know, is this hoorah style coaching? What what does that look like for your clients? No, it's it's not. Um, I'm glad that you brought that up because that can be the the mindset, right? Of 
toughen up, just keep going. It's really not about that. It, it does take a lot of authenticity. It takes honesty and it requires vulnerability. So the processes that I show people and help them navigate are simple, but they're, they're not easy. There has to be a willingness to go on the journey and to really want this. However, if you're at that place that you want to see change and you're willing to put in the work and to, to be vulnerable and, and to realise, no, I really do want change, then you have someone walking with you. And so the actionable steps, the first big one is remembering and defining what it is that you want. And then I give people some really incredible tools and pictures for the mind so that you understand what is happening. You understand where those little, you know, those little voices that try and and get you down and question your worth and and they're telling you all these little things that are just really stop you from moving forward. I help you understand exactly where they're coming from, where they live in your mind, how they're how they move through the process and affect all the different pieces, how they affect your emotions, how they affect your behavior, how they affect your actions. And when you understand that process, it gives you the power to actually make a change because often we try to jump to the answer. We know all the things we should do. We know Mm. that everybody knows that. We're Mm. all incredibly intelligent. But what happens is when we don't understand the process, we try and jump to the right answer without dealing with the little kink in the chain in your mind that's, that's hijacking you. So giving people these tools to help them connect those dots is extremely powerful and gives you practical, actionable steps. Wow. Now you talk about remembering. Uh, That word really pinged to me. Remember what our essence is. Remember what our dreams are. Remember what our mission on this planet is to be. What is it that makes us forget and why is it so important to remember in a uh, process-led way rather than, well, I know the answer, I know what I'm supposed to do and just try to get straight there and then we fall in a heap every time. Why is this process so important and what is causing us to forget our mission here on planet Earth? Yeah, that's a good question. For me, as I've been looking at this process for myself and for others, it's the systems that we grow up in, um, a lot of the time you look at some of this comes through generationally, just and it's it's by well-meaning adults, right? Comes through our education system, well-meaning adults, and and there's there's good there's good in all of it, but it's the it starts generationally. The example there would be a little kid playing and using their imagination, and then you know adults saying, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be an astronaut. I want to do it. And they're like, oh, don't dream too big. We start just pinging, pinging down those the, the idea that it's possible. Mm. And the well-meaning adult is, well, I don't want you to be crushed if it doesn't work out. We don't give space for the idea of what if it does. And, and what if this is a passing phase that leads to other things? And then you get into school and the little person is being told, pay attention, look here, stop looking out the window, stop daydreaming. So that mm-hmm. imagination, which actually lives in the conscious part of our mind, our imagination, it starts getting shut down and it's one of our most powerful tools. So I get shut down, get shut down, get shut down, and we get taught that this is how you should do life, study hard, get a good job, work your way up the ladder, da 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 None of that is bad. None of it's bad. It's it's fine. But when we're in the system and when we're doing that in a way that is not in alignment with our mission, what we're designed to do here, um, we fall in a heap, like you said. We start feeling like, oh, I feel dead inside. I, I, this is there has to be more. We start asking those questions. And my perspective is that's that's where it starts. Wow. 
I feel like you're reading my diary. I bet all the other people listening are feeling like you're reading their diary as well. So uh, is, is anything possible when you start to use this process-led formula or way of being in your own life? I think if you are capable of comprehending what we are speaking about on this interview, uh, then, yeah, there's a lot more that is possible than we've realised and that we've given credit for. Mm. And and that that's an interesting phrase, like, is anything possible? It is. But then it also comes back to, well, what's, what's my piece in this? And my range of possibilities might look different to your range of possibilities. Mm. But that's perfect, right? And y- you might be you moving into a space that is totally not in, on my radar, but that's brilliant because you're supposed to be there. And so I think I think we can get caught up on that idea of is anything possible and quickly shut it down because it's like, well, this isn't possible for this person or this. But if we just come back to, well, what what is it? What's resonating at my core? What do I what do I really want? How do I want to serve? How do I want to make a contribution to the to the world, to my community? Because when you, as I've been speaking to people, the thing that comes up most is like if you had um, no financial constraints, what would you do? What would your days look like? And most people talk about making a contribution to others. And that's like at the essence of who most people are in the world, I believe. So good. Making a contribution to others if you had nothing standing in your way. And I have to say, resources always come when, you're, when your mind is set and you're moving forward. It's when you, you, you cut yourself down before you even start the journey. So uh, I really resonate. I really resonate with, with what you're saying. So what kind of clients have you uh, found have been benefited from this process-led way of being and thinking? The, so I've worked with a range of clients and they've all benefited. Like I, I, this does really benefit um, anyone that is willing to go on this process or knows they need to. My heart is for women uh, and the, the women that I've worked with have come to me at a stage in life where and age is not necessarily the determining factor, but it's that place where they know that there's something more. They've been all of the things. They've got the career, they're the mum, they're the wife, they're the, the sister, the friend that has been doing everything for everyone else to the point that they don't remember who they are anymore. Mm. And so... When I work with these women and and women who are in jobs, they've been in these jobs for 15 years, 20 years, and it, this thought interrupts them in the middle of the day or is starting to get louder around, I know there's something more for me. I can mm. feel it in my core. Like I know there's something more that I want to do, more I want to experience. So so these are the women and the the results that they're getting is enormous clarity if I was going to put it in one word, is clarity. I love that word, clarity. Gosh, that's absolutely amazing. Now, I asked you before we started the interview if you could please bring up some testimonials because we all want to hear what other people are saying about uh, Talley's services. Uh, could you read them out for us, Talley? Yeah, sure. There's one that I have from Sarah, and I love this one because it is really honest. And she says, I was very sceptical going into this, but now I wish I'd started sooner. Coaching with Talay helped me overcome hurdles I didn't realise were blocking me. Shifting my mindset about myself, my circumstances towards my personal growth, and I'd recommend Talay's coaching to anyone regardless of life stage or situation because it's always applicable even when you least expect it. And... What was beautiful about working with Sarah is that 
I created a space for her and her husband to come and do coaching and to learn this stuff at the same time because I know that when one person in a relationship like that is experiencing exponential growth, it can really put strain on a relationship if the other person is not growing and doesn't have the same grid. So that Mm. was really powerful that um, Sarah and her husband could come and do this process with me together. It's been impactful for them and their families. Wow. I just want to pause on that for a moment because uh, married ladies that I've spoken with, they always talk about that it's really hard to get a guy into any form of coaching because he feels like he's probably going to be attacked or picked apart or asked to share his emotions when he doesn't want to. What does coaching look like uh, for a couple? Because I think that's really interesting and we should pause on that for a moment. Yeah, well, it for uh, Sarah and her husband, it's been really good because we've been able to allow them and I really created the space for them to to come at this as individuals but then be able to bring it together themselves so Sarah what what are your dreams and goals and desires because when you've been together a long time it's like you melded into this one thing it's like no who are you as an individual believe like and just trust trust that they'll align Trust the line and then hubby, what are yours and what do you want? What's at your heart? You know, what are your desires? What are your goals? And I've done this with a few couples and it's really interesting that both of, both of them, when they have permission to go on their journey as an individual and remember who they are, what they want, what they want to work towards, what their goals are, then they bring them together it builds this incredible, incredible vision for them, their family, and the impact that they're going to have on on the world, on their community, on their family. You know, it doesn't have to be such a big, going to impact the world. They're impacting their family, you know, and that's powerful. Wow. Impacting family. I love that. So good. So do we have any any more testimonials there that you can quickly read out? We do. Um, This one was from a business owner. Uh, I started a business and it's been successful. I wanted to keep going, of course, but I didn't necessarily always tap in beyond the day-to-day. It's quite hard. It's a skill to learn to refocus and allow yourself to actually ask, what do I want? If I could do more, what would that be? Tyler, you're teaching me how to do that so I can keep my business growing. Thank Mm. you. So good. So this is not just for people who are stuck in a job. This is for business owners who want to take their business to the next level by getting the clarity, by unleashing that imagination that has unfortunately been very fettered right from a very early age by well-meaning adults and a bit of a fractured educational system, dare I say. Uh, So so the results, are. is there anything else apart from the clarity and the imagination that people can expect when they come for a session with you or, or a series of sessions with you? They're going to get a set of tools that will help them elevate not just themselves but their teams. So if you are a business owner and you run teams, you will have tools that you will be able to take into your team to get your team in alignment and to elevate everything that they do. Um, and when you have a vision, usually that does turn into a business or a team or something that's bigger than yourself. So this gives you the tools on that you can take into that space. It also, um, I teach people how to mastermind, how to bring the collective power of different, different people's minds together and how to you know, really harness the power of that and take it to the next level. It's stunning. Um, there's, it's hard to um, consolidate sometimes because there's just so many powerful pieces in here. Mm. But um, it's these are tools that are not just a one and done. You learn them, and they're they're yours for life. That you find yourself. I find myself. I implement them in every single day. Constantly, I'm using these tools because there are always going to be these little challenges that come at you. There's always going to be these little, um, you know, ideas, thoughts, beliefs that, you know, are going to try and derail us. So having these tools, it 
it gives you um, the pieces you need to move forward. Kind of gives you a runway so that you can you can keep moving. Mm, so good. And so uh, Zoom in person group. What does what do these sessions actually look like practically speaking? They're on Zoom, so we do. Um, a group coaching call once a week um, that might soon move into two times a week where we're going through lessons. So there's a 12-lesson process that I take people through in my core program. And we spend six months together. We spend six months together doing that. And then during the week, we also schedule a one-on-one so that we can deep dive into What's coming? What are you catching in this lesson? What are the roadblocks that are coming up for you? What's happening in your business? What's happening in your work? What's happening where we can actually deep dive and um, unpack this stuff so that you can keep going? So I, I walk through how to use the tools and really give people the power to do that um, mm. when they're on their own. Mm, so good. So good. Now, for those of you who have uh, not just yet raced to sign up with Tale. Uh, for those of you who are still a bit like, eh, you know, I might want to dip my toe in the water first. I asked Tale if she would be willing to give a special gift to those uh, listening through the Fair Business Australia podcast. So tell us about this special gift that you are willing to uh, give to people who are still just dipping their toe in the water right now. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. What I've done is I've put together a free video series And it's seven keys to help you align what it is that you want with the essence of who you are. So it's if you're in that job, if you're at a place where you are feeling, I know there's more, I don't know what's next, what do I really want out of life? This is a perfect place to start. Get these seven keys. I've put together a workbook in there and it's it's doing this alone you're going to get some real value out of this and you're going to get something that you can start applying to your life immediately. So it's short videos and um, a really engaging workbook and you can uh, grab that on uh, on my website at iamthefreedomcollective.com. Fantastic. All right, folks. So for those of you who would like to dip your toe in the water, click on the link. You'll go through, be able to fill out your details and get that free seven video series download. And for those of you who are ready to start working with Tale straight away, you can click on the link as well, fill in your details and you will be sent her information immediately. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with the audience before we wrap up today? I'd just like to remind everyone that there is something absolutely resonating at your core that you were designed to bring to life in this lifetime. And you're on time, you're on purpose, and connecting with that, remembering what that is and allowing that to come to the surface really starts to unlock so many parts of your life and it has a ripple effect into your family, your relationships, into your community. And that starts to affect your city and your nation. So there's there's a ripple effect that is started when you pay attention and really honour that little internal voice that is directing you and saying, yeah, there's more. I know there's more. Wow. There is more, folks. Uh, Failure to launch, unlock your imagination, get into the ripple effect to impact your family, your community, your nation. Who knows? Because the sky is the limit, as Tale definitely would agree with me. If you have got a business or a community venture that you would like to share with our uh, audience, please do feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to have you on the podcast. Look forward to speaking with you soon. Have a great rest of your day. Remember, you're awesome. Chat soon and God bless. Have you got a great business or community initiative you'd like to share with our podcast audience? We'd love to hear from you. Reach out to us today at fairbusinessaustralia.com.au.